Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing a full secure authentication and post management system using Node.js, MongoDB, Express.js and EJS templating engine. And in previous video, you have already seen how I created user and post model and also implemented some basic middlewares. Now today in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, work in this login and registration page to make these form uh, functional. Okay, so let's start. So this is my project inside VS code and here I already started a npm run dev command. Okay. Now first what I will do is I will open a register.ejs uh, file. So this is the view file of registration page. So first I will work on this registration page. Okay. So here you can see uh, there is a form tag and inside this form tag there is a attribute action and in action let me remove this hash and I will write register. Okay. And I will send a post request to this route okay when we click on this register button and we will handle this post request inside this file routes auth routes.js file okay here you can see i have already uh, defined uh, all the git uh, routes to render the page like for login registration forget password and reset password now to handle a form we have to define a post route okay so here i will write handle user registration user user registration okay and here i will write router dot post method and then i will write the route the name of the route so i will write register and then i will also use async await inside this uh, router function so here i will write async and then i will write a request and response and then inside this uh, let me first console log uh, request dot body so whenever we will uh, submit any form uh, then we will get all the form details inside this request dot body let me show you so if i fill all the fields and click on register then here in terminal you can see all the details like name email and password okay so here what i will do is i will remove this one and here i will create a const and i will destructure the name email and password okay from the request dot body now okay so all good now next i will use try and catch block now in catch i will uh, handle all the errors okay but first let me write all the code inside try block okay so here what i will do is i will first check if the user is already exist with the email okay so here i will create a const and i will create a very uh, sorry i will create a const with the name user exists user exist is equal to await await and then i will use user let me first import the user model which i already created you can see this is the user model okay in previous video i have already created this file so i will import this user model inside this authrots file so here i will write import import user from sorry from and then uh, i think double then models and then user model dot js file okay don't forget to write dot js extension okay and then here i will just write user and then i will use find one method find one method and here i will pass the email so if there is any user available in the database with the existing uh, email id then we will get the user in this user exist okay so first here i will check a condition okay if user exist if user exist then in this case we will send a flash message send request dot flash and here i will uh, use key error and then message user already exist with this email okay or any message 
which you want to send and then here just write return raise dot redirect raise dot redirect to the same register page okay and if the user is not exist then we will register a new user so here i will create a const user is equal to new user model and inside this i will just pass name email and password but uh, i will not store the plain password in the database so first i will has the password okay so to has the password i will use bcrypt uh, js which i already installed okay so here uh, what i will do is i will create a const const hast password is equal to and uh, then here i will use await bcrypt let me first import the bcrypt so import bcrypt from bcrypt js okay and then here i'll just write bcrypt uh bcrypt dot has method and then i will pass the password and then the uh, salt okay so i will use 10 and then here i will just write has hashed password so i think all good now here what i will do is i will use user dot save method to save in the database and then i will use raise dot redirect raise dot redirect and then here i will write i will redirect to the login page okay and we can also send a flash message so let me first use request dot flash and here i will write success and the message so uh, user register successfully you can log in now any message that you want to send you can write here now in the catch uh, if something went wrong then here what i will do is i will first use console log actually here i will write console dot error instead of log and here uh, i will just use error so whatever will be the error it will be display in the uh, terminal here okay and we can also send a flash message so we can use request dot flash and error key is equal to error and here we can write something went wrong try again try again okay and we can use uh, raise dot redirect to the same register page register page okay so let's try this now let's reload the page and uh, let me write my name sahil kumar and then email sahil at the rate example dot com password will be one two three four five six okay and if i click on register then you can see we are redirected to the login page but the flash message is not displaying here because we have not uh, written to display the flash message here but uh, before uh, writing uh, writing code to display flash message let me go to mongodb.com and let's see the user uh, stored user detail stored in the database or not so let me go to mongodb.com and click on sign in i will use login with google okay so my uh, project is already selected now click on database and this cluster 0 is my cluster or you can say database now click on browse collection 
and here uh, you can see there is there is a user document created and here is is the details like name child my email and the password is hashed you can see here with the created at and there is a post that is empty for now we will work on this later okay so this is working fine now let's uh, move on to the displaying uh, flash messages okay so here uh, if you go to uh, okay server.js then here you can see i have already uh, defined a middleware to store all the flash messages in this message uh, message variable okay so to display the flash message let me go to the uh, login page and just here uh, i will use wait a second okay so here uh, what i will do is i will use this tag and then here i will use a condition if message if message dot error first i will write message dot success and let me close this so here i will close this if and then uh, here i will use a div uh, with class bootstrap class alert alert success and role alert and inside this i will use strong and then i will use sorry percentage and this output ejs output tag and here i will write message dot success okay and uh, i think all done let's copy the same thing and paste here for the error message if any error message so here just write error and just change this message success to message error okay and also change this success to danger similarly copy this one and go to register.ejs file and paste here for the error message and let me uh, test once more so if i go to register and first reload and uh, let me write a name sahil kumar and let me try to register with the same email id which is already registered okay so let me write sahil at the red example.com and password one two three four five six okay if i click on register then you can see user already already exist with this email okay and if i go to database and let me refresh then you can see the user is not inserted again okay so this is also working fine now let's uh, register with a different user so here i'll write my name decode mania the my channel name and this is my email id and if i click on register then we are redirected to the login page with this flash message user registered register successfully you can log in now actually we have to write registered okay so go to authrods.ejs file and uh, here registered successfully okay so registration page is working fine now let's uh, work on this login page okay so open this login.ejs file and here uh, let's change this action value to slash login login okay similarly like regist registration we are also sending a post request from this login page when we click on this login button okay so we will handle this login uh, post uh, request in the same file auth routes.js file and here first i will write a comment handle user login method or request anything which you want to write and here uh, what i will what i will do is i will write router dot post method and here i'll write login and then uh, what i will do is i will okay i will use async and then request response and then the callback function now to login uh, similarly we have to use a constant and then de-structure the email and password 
from the request dot body because if i go to login dot ejs file then from here i only send email and password okay so go to author auth rots dot ejs file and here i will use uh, try catch again okay let me copy all the thing here and paste so in case of something went wrong then it will display the error in the terminal and also is send a flash message in the login page okay so just write here login now in try uh, what i will do is i will first create a const then i will find the user using the existing email so here i will write const user is equal to await uh, and then i will use user model and then find uh, one i will use find one method and then here i will pass the email so first i will find the user with the email because email is unique okay and then here i will check a condition if uh, if user is available in the database with the email then and we will also use another condition here which is await and then i will check uh, for the password okay so here we we have to use bcrypt dot compare method and here we will pass the plain password first and then the hash password from the database so here i will write user dot password okay now if both are true then in this case uh, we will we will store the user in the session okay so here we can use request dot session dot user so we will store the user detail in the user variable and we will sign user okay so we will get all the details of the user in this const and we will store all the user detail in this uh, in the session in this user uh, key okay and then from here we can just use raise raise dot redirect to profile page okay currently uh, i have not created this profile page but let me show you uh first now in if uh, the user is not found with this email and uh, if user is found but the password is not matched then in this case uh, we will send a flash message request dot flash error and then uh, invalid invalid email or password and uh, we will use raise dot redirect to login page i think all done let's try this okay so if i go to login page and reload let me write my email id and correct password and if i log in then you can see we are redirecting to the profile page which i not created but uh, let me try with the incorrect email then you can see invalid email or password flash message is showing which is also working fine now let's quickly create a view with profile dot ejs and uh, uh, let me copy all the code of index dot js and into this profile page and here uh, let's use h1 profile page for now and go to auth routes dot js file let me here define the get route for the profile page so route for profile page okay and router dot get profile profile and here request response and then raise dot render and then uh, here i will just use profile and then i will send title sorry title profile page okay now let's me let me try to log in again so this time i will log in with the sahil at the rate example.com and password is one two three four five six if i 
click on login then you can see we are redirecting to the profile page okay so login is also working and uh, registration is also working but currently if i go to login page then we can access login page and uh, if i go to profile page then we are also accessing the profile page so we will uh, we will protect this page profile page so so once the user is authenticated then only uh, he can access this page okay and if the user is already authenticated then we will not go to this login and registration page if user uh, try to go to this login and registration page then we will redirect back to the profile page so we will do it in the next video and we will also uh, remove this login when the user is authenticated and here i will display the username with a drop down uh, menu and uh, okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to uh, how to protect the routes and also work in this navigation uh, navigation menu so here i will display the drop down menu with the username and i will also show you how to make this link active when suppose if i go to login page then i will make this login uh, link active and if i go to home page then i will make this home page uh, home nav, nav item active dynamically okay so please uh, like and share this video and if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel